Okay, welcome to the Chapter 12 Test Study Guide Review. I'm going to go through the practice test uh, to prepare you for the test on Thursday. So the first question, the denominators are the same, so I'm going to just do the subtraction on top, and I need to be careful because I have minus a minus, so my answer is going to be 7x plus 3 over x minus 7, and I can't do anything else with this. So uh, that is my final answer. Moving on to number two. Number two also has a common denominator, so I can com just combine the top. However, in this test, you need to recognize that this is a double bubble, as we say. So this is x minus 5 over x minus 5, x plus 5. And the x minus 5s will cancel, leaving us with 1 over x plus 5. Moving on to the next question. Uh, the, now the denominators are not common. Okay, so we need to multiply 2x plus 3 times the other denominator on the other side, x plus 2. That, and that's going to be minus x minus 5 times the denominator on the left side, which is x minus 4. This gives us an overall common denominator of x minus 4, x plus 2. Your next step is you need to multiply out the top using either the box method or FOIL. So I'm going to multiply the left side here and the right side over here. Go through the multiplication. 2x squared, 3x, 4x, and 6. Over here, x squared minus 5x minus 4x uh, plus 20. And then we're going to combine these together. So we're going to combine these two and these two, and our top is now 2x squared. This is 7x total, plus 7x, plus 6, minus the other side, which is x squared. This is the whole other side, minus 9x, minus 9x, plus 20. And that's still over the same denominator, x minus 4, x plus 2. Okay, so now we're going to have to... Do the uh, polynomial subtraction on the top here. This negative gets distributed to each thing inside. So I'm going to be doing uh, 2x squared minus x squared, which gets us x squared. And then we're going to be doing uh, 7x minus a negative 9x. So that's going to give us a positive 9x, so that's going to be positive 16x. And then the last one, 6 minus 20 is negative 14. Well, that's going to be our answer, x minus 4, x plus 2. And you can multiply out the bottom. Uh, the top does not factor. It, even though it's triple, it does not factor like this. So, this is just our answer right here. On to number four. Number four has common denominators. It has common denominators, so you can go ahead and subtract those. But you need to be careful of the, distribu the distribution of the negative sign. So we're going to have 6x, and I'm going to combine the 6x with minus 7x, and I'm going to combine the negative 1 minus the minus 6, negative 1, minus the minus 6, and that's all over x squared minus 25. This is going to give us a new top of 7 minus, uh, this here produces a negative x. This produces, add the opposite, positive 5. The bottom you should recognize as x plus 5, x minus 5. Now, most people want to just cancel here, but this does not look like either of the bottom. So what we're going to do is take out a negative 1, and we have x minus 5. Now we can see that it will cancel. The 
other x minus 5 on the bottom, and that will leave us with negative 1 over x plus 5. Next question. Okay, now you're multiplying. It doesn't say add, so we're multiplying. We need to recognize that this is y minus 2, y plus 2. So look for your hints. If that's there, chances are something breaks down. This is just 4 times y, and we're multiplying. This is 5 times y. And, of course, when we multiply fractions, we want to try and cancel first. And this thing cancels very nicely. Cancel, cancel. The, the y's cancel, and I'm left with 5 on top times y plus 2, and just a 4 on the bottom. And that's your answer there. Don't take it too far. You can't cancel the 2 and the 4. That's your answer right there. Moving on to 6. 6. The denominators aren't common, but we have two fractions equal to each other, a proportion. So we could just cross multiply here. When we cross multiply, we are getting a common denominator. We just ignore the denominator and solve the top. Okay, and this is a very quick question also. 4x, don't forget to distribute to both things, minus 12 equals 2x plus 4. We want to get x on one side of the line here, because we're, we're dealing with x to the first power, so we're not going to set it equal to 0, we just get x by itself. Subtract 2x, and I'll do this separately, so I have 2x minus 12 equals 4 now. Then we're going to add the 12 over to get adding 12 to both sides, we have 2x equals 16. And of course, divide by 2, and x equals 8. Now, this, this on the test is going to say check. Okay, so what are we checking? Well, we need to go back up to the top and check this with our answer. So we're going to run the check, and the check is going to be put in an 8 wherever you see an x. So is 4 over 8 plus 2 equal to 2 over 8 minus 3? Well, 4 over 8 plus 2 is 4 over 10. And 2 over 8 minus 3 is 2 over, we don't, we don't know for sure if it's 2 over 5. Okay? If we reduce this, this is 2 fifths, and it checks. But remember, your an actual answer is way back here get back there, x equals 8. Okay, so you do need to show checks on the, the, the test. Okay, moving on to this one, again, uh, now we're subtracting. So it goes back and forth, multiplying, subtracting. The denominators are not equal here. And this one does, we also got to worry about the 1 here. The denominators are not equal. But again, you should realize that this is x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay? And then you say to each thing, well, this needs an x minus one, or I'm sorry, an x plus one, and this needs an x plus one. Okay, and this over here needs everything, so I'm just going to put an x squared minus one here, and an x squared minus one here. Now, this looks very ugly, but the denominators are now all the same. Okay, well, what does the top look like? Well, that two stays minus x plus 1, because that's the new top there, equals x squared minus 1. Now be careful with this one. Okay, you need to show many steps to this. So the first thing is get a common denominator here. And we did that. Okay, now we need to solve this. So when you solve this, you got to realize, okay, I got a, I got a quadratic here. So I'm either using, I'm either using the quadratic formula uh, I'm either doing triple starts with three, two parentheses, or I could even go as far as if x squared equals a number, I just take the square root and I get an answer. But this one's going to be one of, one of these two here. So distribute this negative, and you're going to get 2 minus x minus 1 equals x squared minus 1. Okay, now bring over bring over the other, uh, let me just check something real quick, no. it's just, okay, bring, now we got to bring everything to one side, put it in standard form, so we're going to 
add one to both sides. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's why I hesitated here, because I need to combine 2 and minus 1. 2 and minus 1 is 1. Okay, so it's 1 minus x, so it's x squared minus 1. I'm going to subtract 1 from each side, that, and subtract an x from each side. Now, if you have to do that separately, do it separately. It might help you a little bit better, uh, a little more. So these cancel. I have a 0 here. Um, whoops. See, I made a mistake here. This should be plus x to each side. Maybe you saw that. So that's going to be a 0. And we're going to, now we're gonna, can I combine x squared with anything here? No. So x squared stays. Neg uh, I'm sorry, plus x, I can't combine that with anything, so it's just plus x. And minus 1 and minus 1 is minus 2. Okay, now, again, we're back to quad formula, quadratic formula, or uh, two parentheses. I'm going with two parentheses up here, uh, and use a t-chart. The last shall be first in the t-chart. I'm going to put a 1 here. So this is going to be 2 and 1, and one of them has to be negative. So this is x plus 2, x minus 1, and it's equal to 0. That's the key here. So x equals the opposite of this, which is negative 2. How did I get that? I just said this equals 0, at 1 to both sides, and x equals 1. So your answers are, are right here, but you still have to check. And this is showing that you actually understand the process here. So I'm going to take this, bring it down here, and I'm going to run a check on this. I need to check two things. I need to check x equals negative 2 and check x equals 1. Well, you could see right away that x equals 1 is going to be going to produce a, a 1 over 0 and a 2 over 0. So that's going to be undefined. So we're going to throw out x equals 1. The other one we're going to check is x equals negative 2. So is 2 over negative 2 squared minus 1 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 1, is that equal to 1? This gets a little tricky here. So 2 over 4 minus 1 minus 1 over negative 3, is that equal to 1? This is 2 over 3 minus a minus 1 third equal to 1. And it's, again, 2 thirds, this is plus a third, and equals 1. You could use your calculator here, and that checks out. But remember, x equals negative 2 is your final answer. It does check. Use your calculator to your advantage. Okay, now we have the next question is a little bit more uh, involved, not just because it's got a lot of words, but uh, we just want to make sure we do this right here. A group of college students. So this is a group painting. Uh, sorry, I don't read the whole question. Uh, you could read it. We could paint four hours. Rhonda, six. Um, okay, sorry, there's only two kids. So it's not a group. There's only two people to paint. So this one's a little bit quicker. So this is going to be the one where we put N over the time they paint um, or their rate plus N over the other person's. And that's got to equal one job done, where N equals the time worked. They're working together, the ends are going to be the same. So this is a quick uh, quick answer. Um, quick answer here. Again, I'm just checking to make sure there's not another person painting here. Okay, so this is, I'm going to make the denominator 24. This needs a 6. This needs a 4. So I'm going to end with 6n plus 4n equals. And don't forget to make this 24 over 24. 24. So together I have uh, 6 and 4 is 10n equals 24. Divide by 10n equals 2.4. So it would be 2.4 hours for both uh, painting together. Sorry for my writing. Okay, so this is this is a Finney 5 question. We've defined We've set up, we've solved, and we've written our answer. Um, we should do a check on this. So let's do a quick check here. Again, to get full credit, let's do the check. Is 24 over 4 
plus 24 over 6 equal to 1. Uh, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. I'm uh, sorry, it's 2.4. 2.4. So this would be uh, 0.6 plus 0.4 equal to 1, and yes, it is. That's 1 equals 1, and it checks. But your answer is over here uh, written out. And it's labeled also. Okay, moving along to these ones are quick questions here. You could do this on your calculator. Calculator, most uh, everybody knows how to do that. This one here, oh, sorry, I skipped this one here. Four flavors, eight. So this is just four times eight, um, which is 32. Okay, how many ways could 10 basketball? This is 10 factorial or 10 P10. <coughs> you can figure that out. And students, volunteer for the committee. How many seven different person committees? So we're looking at committees, that's C, uh, 10, C, 7, and again, you can use your calculator to figure that out. And these two are calculator questions. I'll try to show you the answers at the end of this video. Moving on to this here, these are quick questions. Uh, quadratic, this is a quadratic, it makes a parabola. In this case, it's happy. Uh, this, is a, this is a square root, also known as a radical radical and it makes a swoosh like that. This is a dot. And then the last one is absolute value as in V and it makes a V. That's quick answers there. The next question um did I miss one here? I think I did. Um yes. It's number fourteen. It's right here. Okay, you and two friends, so that's three people all together, uh, our pizza shop, and we want to get a pizza out of 13, six of them are meat, the rest are vegetable, if each order is a different topping, no pizza at random, what's the probability your group, so we're doing a group here, this is a C situation, so we have a C on top and a C on bottom, well, there's, there's uh, so many groups out of the 13, so many groups of three out of the 13, that would be include veggie and meat, but the top is what we want. We only want six uh, meat toppings to choose from, or we only have six meat toppings to choose from, and those are groups of three. And again, this is a calculator question. You can do that quickly. Um, setup is the hardest part on that one. Moving along to these, I just I've already done those. Uh, okay, 18. A little bit of a tricky question here. You gotta again, you gotta attack this by saying. Am I seeing double here? Yes, I am. I'm seeing double here. I want to see single, so that's x minus 5. Okay, this could be broken up very quickly with a t chart. And sometimes you don't even need the t chart. You can just go right to here. Multiples of negative 15 that add up to negative 2, that's 5 and 3. And the 5 has to be negative, and the 3 is positive. This is division, making it multiplication and flipping. So just keep change flip and uh, flipping it over and we can cancel here. Okay, so this cancels, this cancels, these two cancels and we're left with just x over x minus 3. That's as far as you can go. Don't cancel those x's. Moving on to 19. This is a quick division. 2 goes into 12 6 times. M2 goes into M8 M6 times. Um, you could do it in your head, or we could just put this under here and cancel. So this is negative 3. 2 into 6, negative 6 is negative 3. 5 into 2 is 5 minus 2, which is m3. And then the last one, what times this equals this? We could do it that way, which is 2m squared. Moving on to this one, definitely have to be able to do polynomial division on the quit or on the test. You write it out, showing your work. Leave a little space write neatly, that way you can get this question right. What times x is x cubed? That's x squared. And I multiply both things times it. Okay, so that's x cubed plus 2x squared. I want to subtract. Okay, if that's the case, make sure you subtract, subtract. Combine like terms here, and our new problem is going to be 
Well, let's make sure we do the subtraction, right? x squared minus 2x is minus x squared. I'm going to bring down the rest. Now we're dealing with x and x, negative x squared. Well, that's a negative x. Notice that the powers count down up here, 2, 1, and then there's going to be no power there. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm doing, again, I'm multiplying this whole thing here times these two things. And the first one's going to give me the negative x squared. The second one's going to give me negative 2x. I have to remember to subtract. When I subtract, I add the opposite. That produces the next level, which is negative 5x minus 10. I like this because I know that negative 5 times these two numbers is going to get me my answer. Okay, so let me look at that. And uh, negative 5x and negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. When these match, I have a remainder of 0. And this is my final answer x squared minus x minus 5. If I multiply this times this, I will get that there. If you have to re do the video to see that, go ahead. Moving along to these. Uh, these are quick. I wrote them together because they're very quick questions. The top of this is negative 8 times x to the fourth. The bottom, they both have x to the fourth in them, but don't forget to leave that one behind. Okay, and then this thing cancels nicely. I'm left with negative 8 over 1 minus 2x. This one here is a quick triple starts with t, two parentheses. The last shall be first in the chart. And I'm looking at 4 and 3 as a difference of 1. And the 4 has to be negative, so x minus 4, x plus 3. That's a quick answer. And then uh, we're moving to the bottom, negative 24, to add up to 2. I'm taking 6 and 4, and the 6 has to be positive, the 4 is negative. So x plus 6, sorry, x plus 6, x minus 4. The minus 4 is canceled, and my final answer is x plus 3 over x plus 6. Okay, this one here, number 23, pull a 2 out, x minus 5. Pull a 2 out, x plus 2, these cancel, and I have x minus 5 over x plus 2.